Hello, this is Chip Desire. Today I want to show you about multi-camera clips, how to create a multi-camera clip. So I shot uh, some footage here with a Sony camera, a Canon 7D, and an iPhone. Then we have an audio track. So I put them all together. I keyworded them just uh, so you can see I have uh, uh, 48 files here, but I have uh, three keyworded. So I'm going to select all three of them, and I'm using Final Cut Pro 10.0.3, at least. Uh, this is the latest one as of this taping so I'm going to click on this right click hit new multicam clip now what comes up I can use my automatic settings or I can go down here do camera angle camera name but I want to leave everything automatic and then I'm going to use audio for synchronization and I'm going to call this desired multi clip all right once I do that it's going to synchronize it and make it all the angles uh, come together and make it a multi-clip. I'll be right back once it finishes synchronizing. All right, now once the clip has finished uh, synchronizing, you'll see a four, a new icon here. Among, you'll see the three, actually let's go to the dance, and then you'll see the fourth icon here. Um, it says multi-clip. Actually, let me just put it, go right here, and we'll put it here, we'll just keyword this as dance, so we'll know that that's part of our dance multi-clip. All right, lesson in keywords, always keyword your footage. All right, so I see the five clips here all together. If I were to click on this footage, you'll see how it's all synchronized and everything is here to the beat. And okay, so show me the 7D, it can show me that. So I'm just gonna go back and we're gonna start cutting. So before we start cutting, an important thing, I'm gonna make sure I choose this little drop down box and then I'm going to show angle viewer once I show angle viewer I like to move this out of the way move this over so I have enough space and one key thing is with multi clip is I want to use this audio but I want to use video from these three so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to enable video only switching but I'm going to make sure I click on that so I'm going to go back actually and let me click on that Click on the green, and that's going to turn green once I click on something else. So the green right here means it's audio. So you're going to click on this first to make sure it's green, and then this is how I'm going to do video only switching. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put this in my timeline by just hitting the W key, or you can hit the E key for a pen, and Shift Z to put the whole timeline there. Now it's going to use this audio that I'm going to cut between these angles. So the first angle I'm going to use is this one right here because that's the first angle. I'm going to move this over just a little bit and move this over. Actually, I'm going to leave that there so I can we can go. So here we go, and I'm going to start cutting. All right. Let's cut here. Make sure we hit space bar. And here we go. Let's start. Alrighty, I don't see anything. I see people stretching. There we go. I'll do some more cuts here. And then all I'm doing is just clicking from one angle to the other. Okay? So it's not really going real time right now. Just because it's using a lot of computer processing speed. But as you can see, I'm clicking it, I'm clicking it. And as you see, I click. Okay, so I'm dropping some frames. And you see, I can use proxy mode and consider hiding the angle viewer or displaying few angles. So I'm just going to hit that. So I'm doing this on a laptop. I did this on a desktop. It was not as. Uh, it didn't, it didn't take as much disk space, but as you can see, with high power candle, uh, uh, cameras and uh, a lot of angles, it can take a lot of horsepower to do multi-camera. So that is the basics of multi-camera. As, as you see, I'm just switching here, video only switching. So if I go here, I'm here. It, it's a little slow, drop into some frames.
Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the cuts. Again, I give a little warning here because I can use proxy mode for that. And as you see, it is transcoding and rendering uh, a lot of this footage, so it's a really good uh, thing to do. But you see, you can see the ideal multi-cam editing, and also you can always go back, and if you wanna add an effect to one of the clips, you can go right there. I can go under my color uh, board, and once I hit my color board, once that comes up, I can make some changes to the clip. Let's say I wanted that clip black and white right there. Take the saturation down, and there it is in black and white. All right. So that's about all for this multi-clip tutorial. Uh, you can do a lot more camera angles, up to 64. Now, I, I can only view the 16 angles at a time, but three cameras is usually the normal amount of cameras for most video shoots. So that, that's all. If you have any questions, you can always email me. And you can watch the video in its entirety by clicking in the description below on the video. Thanks and have a great one.